magazine. This is what I call my man cave. This was number six, right here. I know you, you're the poker guy. You know, we're getting some titties, got the hockey jersey. Oh, I remember this, this was so much fun. <laughs> So, Daniel, everybody knows you're great on camera. You know, you, you can, I, I think that's one of the cool things about you. Do you feel like you play better poker on television, though? Well, I don't know if I necessarily play better poker on television, but there's things available to me that aren't available if the cameras are not on, and that's simply the fact that my opponents are usually less comfortable on camera. So the fact that I'm very comfortable is more intimidating for them, it gives me a psychological advantage. Also, uh, I can you know, start talking to them and make them even more uncomfortable on camera because a lot of people just have the innate you know, human condition of not wanting to look stupid, right? So if I start talking to them, uh, they've got not only the fact that their parents might be watching, there's a live stream, there's me yapping in their ear, and if I outwit them, they're gonna feel like a fool. So anything I can do to take people off their game, and, and the thing that I notice is some people either really like the table talk and some people hate it, which lets me know I'm doing what I need to do anyways. The people that don't like it, well that just plays into my hands, right? Because if it's annoying them, right? Well, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. To those that like it and engage, well, I'm getting a benefit out of that as well.